Yo, yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to another installment of Tony's Taste. Once again, indoors, but as you can see, your boy got a new camera, you know what I'm saying? Sony! All right, and it's appropriate as a Sony camera because we're going to talk about Ratchet and Clank Drift Apart and... Actually, Rift Apart. I keep getting that name wrong. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and 2021 for the PlayStation 5. I want to give a quick shout out to Paris Lilly and Danny Pena from Gamertag Radio. This video is very heavily in inspired by those guys because we literally had like a mini <laughs> podcast between ourselves on our WhatsApp app, you know, after the announcement. Let's get to the news first, then we'll get to, you know, the heart of this video that you could see in the headline, either there or there, wherever. All right, so Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, right? I believe that's the name of it, is confirmed coming out June 11th exclusively for the PlayStation 5, which is very, very excited because, you know, it, I've been very vocal about this on Twitter, on the podcast. I have been disappointed by the fact that we haven't had many true PS5 exclusives. There are some, right? We have Demon Souls, which is pure PS5 exclusive, even though it's a remake, right? Fantastic remake. I'm not taking anything away from it, but it's a remake of an old game from PS3, right? We have Astrobot. You all know I love me some Astrobot, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? That's not really taking full advantage of the console. It's taking full advantage of the controller, but not the console. Then we have, you know, up, some upcoming games, right? But we'll get into that. So anyway, Ratchet and Clank, June 11th. Very excited about that. But, but the timing is very interesting, right? Because it's Sony said it's going to come out originally. I believe they said it's going to come out in in spring, right? Still coming out in spring. Just literally a week before summer. But it's still spring, right? So we got that going, right? And very excited. PS5 exclusive. I am down. I've been a Ratchet & Clank fan since the first one on PS2 back in the day. A lot of people kind of jumped in later on. Different installments, which is fine. But I was there from the beginning, so you already know fucking excited right so and this is you know the, the second there's not really much to say about I, reggie by the way i know you're watching this brother he wanted me rep weapon x for you guys who don't know he wanted me to do a tony stake just specifically on that i'm like that's cool but there's not really much to say beyond hey it's coming out june 11th ps5 exclusive fantastic if that was it the video would have been over right but here's the good stuff right and this is all speculation i i know that I don't really like delving into speculation, but it's based on real shit, right? So we could get into it. There's a conversation I had with, with uh, Danny in Paris, right? So, and, and I agree with what Paris said, and this, I'm pretty much going to just say what he said, right? If Sony releases all the games they claim they're going to release in 2021 this year, there's going to be a blowout year for PS5, right? Go down the line, right? We got Returnal coming in March. We got Ratchet & Clank coming in June, right? Here's where the speculation comes in, right? Because Gran Turismo is still slated for this year. Still slated for this year, right? So, and also Horizon of Forbidden West, that's slated to, to 2021. And God of War, even though Sony has stopped talking about it, the last trailer, or the only trailer, I should say, says 2021, right? So how could they release these games without, you know, piling each other on, right? Without cannibalizing each other's sales, right? And I'm going off of Paris set because I agree with him 100%. So you got Returnal in March, right? You got Ratchet and Clank in June. You got Gran Turismo August, right? August is not a crazy time. That's also, I believe, when Ghost of Tsushima dropped. And um, if I'm wrong about that, I know for a fact Control dropped on August. So not unheard of, right? Then this is where I, what I think. I think Horizon may drop September-ish, right? towards the latter half of, of September, then God of War, right? November, you know, the usual time, Black Friday, November, right? If all these games come out, bro, Sony murdering shit right now, right? But of course, we got to address the elephant in the room. I don't, even, I don't even think elephant in the room is like an appropriate term because it's too big. We got to address the Jormungandr in the room, you know, the, the world snake from God of War, right? the the scalping situation right the whole all that nonsense right because right now even though sony has sold 4.5 million playstation 5s which is incredible they actually sold i believe as much as many ps5s as they as ps4s at the same time right which is good but you always have to question could they have sold more if it wasn't for the scalpers and stuff um i i believe you know believe what you will about some of these reports that about a hundred thousand ish 
more, probably 150,000. In America, PlayStations are being sold through eBay and all those other stuff. So that's 150,000 consoles, not in consumers' hands, in the you know hands of these scalpers and stuff, right? So looking at it that way, it's not that many consoles that are being taken away from us, but it's still a good chunk, right? But if Sony really wants to, you know, um, get these get, make these games successful, right? They need to get more systems out there, right? Because that's the that's why we're seeing so many of these cross gen games right now, Moss Morales and a bunch of other stuff, right? Horizon. Let's just be real here. Uh, pretty much every third party game, they're all cross gen. You know, Division, um, all this other stuff, because of the fact that there are more people in the last gen systems. I, I understand that. I'm not happy about it, but I understand it, right? So if Sony can manage to get enough systems out there, so I believe, and you guys could tell me, you know, in the comments, they, I believe they wanted to sell 18 million consoles this year, right? In, in, in totality. They could do that, but they need to ramp up production. So if they could ramp up production and sell that many units, then yeah. And, and of course, like I said, all those games, this will be a crazy year for PlayStation and just place it where, you know, Xbox, they're doing their own thing. Um, if they get things right, they'll, they'll do well. But both systems have a problem with um, scalpers and all that. I feel like PlayStation more because it's more in demand. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. But just to sum it up again, if Sony manages to release Returnal, Ratchet and Clank, Gran Turismo, Horizon, and God of War, all in 2021 this is going to be crazy bro so let's hope this is true because you know in the end of the day if this all happens who wins we win the gamers win so very excited about that so you know a little bit of an off kilter tony's takes but i really wanted to get your thoughts on it because it's good it was a good conversation i'm like yo we gotta i gotta capture this somehow you know um and that's that so let me know your comments and all that if you like this video please hit the like on it subscribe to the channel we got more gaming goodness as always on the throwdown channel people so that's it once again i was tony and i'll see you next time later